Hey kids, welcome to lesson nine, if, else, if, and conditional logic. You try it. Recreate the museum price example from the video. We've set up everything for you except the Boolean expression in the if statement is incomplete. We're going to modify the Boolean expression. It just says age is less than 21 right now. Choose a combination of and and or to reflect the following conditions. If it's Tuesday or Thursday or the age is between 12 and 21, they get a discount. Else, they pay full price. We have a tip here, switching to text mode might make this easier to compose, and I agree. Looks pretty straightforward what we have to do today. Pretty much we're just adding an if statement, so it's either Tuesday or Thursday, or between this ages they'll get a discount. Otherwise, everything else, they are paying full price. Let's take a look at our code here. We have an on event, the calc button is clicked. That's that button right there. We're going to create two variables. The first one is going to be day and age. It is getting the day from the drop down menu right here, day drop down, and it is getting the age from the age drop down, which is right here. We have our if statement right here and Below that, we have a comment that says, no need to change the code below. It just clears out the labels when the dropdown is clicked. So it's on event, dropdown is clicked. We're going to set the price label, which is right here, to uh, the two quotations. There's nothing in there, so it's just blank. And this, uh, the event that day dropdown menu, the other one, is clicked. It is also going to clear whatever is written there. All we really have to do is work up here, and it says we really just need to um, add to the Boolean expression in the if statement right here. Right now it says if the age is less than 21, and that's one of our conditions. We have another condition though. So we're gonna use and. And that condition is going to be that the age, and this is 12, is going to be greater than 12. That's gonna give us our range right there. If the age is less than 21 and the age is greater than 12, this condition will be satisfied. Now we need a second one though, because it says if it's also Tuesday or Thursday, we have one there. So we also have an or statement we're gonna put in here. So that's one side of my equation here. If both of these are satisfied, then they'll get the discount or the other one. Well, what's the other one? Well, the day is going to equal Tuesday. And Tuesday should be in quotes. Why? Well, we want the exact same thing there. So Tuesday or because there's two days here or day is going to equal Thursday. We do have to deal with our parentheses here. This is actually going to be a double parentheses because we have this little part in here and the whole if statement should be in one. So if you look at it, we should have two parentheses there. How I have it written is if the age is less than 21 but larger than 12 or the day is Tuesday or Thursday, they're gonna get a discount. One of these three conditions have to be met for it to display you get a discount down here. Let's go ahead and test this code. Let's hit run. Let's do the easy one first. We will do a Tuesday and we are going to do some age between 12 and 21, that's 16. When I hit calculate, it should say, you get a discount. There you go. Let's just change this to six. So six would not be in this condition, but it's still in this condition, which is in our or statement. When I calculate this, we should also get, you get a discount. Let's try one of the harder ones, Monday. Monday and six, they should pay full price. How about Monday and 15? That's between this one Calculate, you get a discount. Code here pretty much says as long as one 
of these two conditions are satisfied, then you get the discount. It can either be the age or the day Tuesday or Thursday on it. I think that's all we had to do. Looking back up here, we did modify the Boolean expression. We added an if statement that if it's Tuesday or Thursday or the ages between 12 and 21, they get a discount. Ours did that. And otherwise, they pay the full price, which ours did. I think that's all code.org wants from us. Let's go ahead and hit finish and see if they want anything else. Nope. Good job, kids. I'll see you on the next lesson.